Hello everyone. In my last session, I started with some illustrations on inverse trigonometric functions. And of course, one session is not sufficient. So in this session also, we will be taking more illustrations on inverse trigonometric function. So this is our second session. Now the first one is that we have to show 2 cos inverse x equal to cos inverse 2x square minus 1 provided x lies in 0 to 1 inclusive 0 and 1. As I said before in my last session, if you wish, you can remember this as a formula but with the right condition. Now, if I start to show or to prove that part, now cos inverse x, I may feel like substituting or naming something with the condition that x lies between 0 and 1. So if I take theta equal to cos inverse x, if that is my naming, then I will have to see where does theta lie. Now theta comes in 0 to pi by 2 because x lies in 0 to 1. I hope everyone understands that. And the ones who do not understand, they can actually refer to the graph and they will understand what I am saying. That if you are saying cos inverse x where x lies between 0 and 1, they can check themselves that answer for theta on the graph you will find between 0 and pi by 2. Now, if I take cos on both sides, that would lead to x equal to cos theta. Now, with this information about x, I go for 2x square minus 1. And that is nothing but 2 cos square theta minus 1. And you know basic trigonometric formula. So, it is nothing but cos 2 theta. Now, look at the right hand side. Right hand side is cos inverse of 2x square minus 1. So, that would become cos inverse of cos 2 theta. Now, can I write this as 2 theta straight away? For that, you will have to check where does 2 theta lie. And 2 theta lies in 0 to pi. And that is nothing but the range of cos inverse. So, we are free to write it as 2 theta. And substitute back that theta. Theta we have named as cos inverse x. So, this becomes nothing but 2 cos inverse x, which is same as your left hand side. So, we have proven that we started from right hand side and we have arrived at some expression which is same as given as the left hand side in the problem. So, you can remember this as a formula with a condition. I go to the next one. And the next one is that we have to show 2 cons inverse x equal to 2 pi minus cos inverse of 2x square minus 1 when x lies between minus 1 and 0 inclusive. Now again, my style of solving perhaps could be the similar one only. That I may name cos inverse x as theta. I will keep condition in my head that x lies between minus 1 and 0. And accordingly, I will fit that what theta is. So minus 1 less or equal to x, less or equal to 0 and my naming is theta equal to cos inverse x, that leads to theta lies between pi by 2 and pi. Okay. Now from here, what is my next step? Now you can actually prompt and that is nothing but I go for x equal to cos theta. Now x equal to cos theta would lead to 2x square minus 1 equal to 2 cos square theta minus 1, which is nothing but cos 2 theta. Now apply this in the right hand side, right? Right hand side expression contains cos inverse of 2x square minus 1. So, I go for cos inverse of 2x square minus 1. And that is nothing but cos inverse of cos 2 theta. Now, can I write straight away answer as 2 theta? That I will have to check. 2 theta lies in pi to 2 pi. It is not in 0 to pi. So, I cannot write answer as 2 theta. So, what was the remedy? We will have to write cos 2 theta in such a way so that I may get answer in what? Yes, range of cos inverse. Fine. So, cos inverse of 2x square minus 1, I rewrite and I write it as cos inverse of cos 2 pi minus 2 theta. Cos 2 pi minus 2 theta is cos 2 theta. So, I have replaced that cos 2 theta in the upper step what you are seeing as cos of 2 pi minus 2 theta. So, what should be my task now? To check where does 2 pi minus 2 theta lie. Okay. So, 2 pi minus 2 theta lies in 0 to pi, which is range of cos inverse function. And hence, I can write answer as 2 pi minus 2 theta. What should be the next step? Replace that theta as cos inverse x and rewrite the expression. And that leads to 2 cos inverse x equal to 2 pi minus cos inverse of 2x square minus 1. Remember, please, this is possible when x lies between minus 1 and 0. Now, these were the two examples regarding cos inverse function. Okay. Now, I move to the next one. And the next one is that we have to show 3 tan inverse x equal to tan inverse of 3x minus x cube upon 1 minus 3x square. x lies between minus 1 by root 3 and plus 1 by root 3. Mind you please, now I am taking questions regarding tan inverse perhaps for the first time here in this session. So, something more also I can tell. 
like when you look at the right hand side expression, right hand side expression has in it 3x minus x cube upon 1 minus 3x square, which is quite familiar expression. Like we have seen somewhere like 3 tan theta minus tan cube theta upon 1 minus 3 tan square theta. So I'm so sure that you will get tempted to write x equal to tan theta. Please never do that straight away. In many places, I have read myself that people straight away write x equal to tan theta. No, you cannot write x equal to tan theta. We have to start with that x lies between minus 1 by root 3 and plus 1 by root 3. And my naming should be that I will be writing theta equal to tan inverse x. I cannot write x equal to tan theta straight away. I will have to write theta equal to tan inverse x. And then I put condition on theta. Now, since x lies between minus 1 by root 3 and plus 1 by root 3, my theta will go to the interval minus pi by 6 to plus pi by 6. Correct? And now I will be taking tan on both sides and that would lead to x equal to tan theta. Mind you please, theta equal to tan inverse x implies x equal to tan theta. It's not other way. x equal to tan theta does not imply theta equal to tan inverse x. This is a typical mistake which you observe everywhere. And then what happens when you see something like this at 10 places or hundreds of places, you start believing it. You stop questioning it. So my request to you is please revise your concepts and then apply those properties. X equal to tan theta can never imply theta equal to tan inverse x. Theta equal to tan inverse x implies x equal to tan theta. Now I am free to write that x equal to tan theta in that 3x minus x cube upon 1 minus 3x square. And that would lead to the expression as 3 tan theta minus tan cube theta upon 1 minus 3 tan square theta as we had decided. And that is nothing but tan 3 theta. Now I go for tan inverse of 3x minus x cube upon 1 minus 3x square. So this will become tan inverse of tan 3 theta. Now most of you would think of jumping to the answer as 3 theta. You can do that. But before doing that, what do you have to do? You have to check. Where does 3 theta lie? So 3 theta lies in minus pi by 2 to pi by 2. So now you are safe. You can always write this as final answer as 3 theta. And what was your theta? Theta was nothing but tan inverse x. So I write further this as 3 tan inverse x which matches with your left hand side. So we have started with right hand side and we have arrived at some expression which is same as given on the left hand side there. So we have proven. Correct? So I move from here to the next one. And the next one is that we have to show 3 tan inverse x equal to pi plus tan inverse of 3x minus x cube upon 1 minus 3x square. Here condition is x is greater than 1 by root 3. Mind you please, previous condition, I mean condition given in the previous problem is different from here what we have. So obviously there is some correction on the right hand side also. I'm saying correction. So pi plus we are having there. Okay. So my procedure of solving will be almost similar. So I will be writing x as greater than 1 by root 3. I will be naming theta equal to tan inverse x. I will put condition on theta. It would be pi by 6 to pi by 2, the interval. And that would lead to x equal to tan theta. And then I substitute this x equal to tan theta in 3x minus x cube upon 1 minus 3x square. That leads to 3 tan theta minus tan cube theta upon 1 minus 3 tan square theta. This the entire expression is nothing but tan 3 theta. So I go for tan inverse of 3x minus x cube upon 1 minus 3x square. So that reduces to tan inverse of tan 3 theta. Now what is the next step? You have to check where 3 theta lies. 3 theta lies now in pi by 2 to 3 pi by 2. It does not lie in minus pi by 2 to pi by 2. So you cannot write answer as 3 theta. So what is the remedy? You will have to write rather rewrite tan 3 theta. And now I am writing intelligently that tan 3 theta. Tan 3 theta I have replaced as minus tan of pi minus 3 theta. Tan pi minus 3 theta is minus tan 3 theta. And that minus and one more minus available there, that will make finally plus tan 3 theta. So I am replacing tan 3 theta as minus of tan pi minus 3 theta. Now tan inverse of minus x, we have done this in the past, is minus tan inverse x. So I write it as minus tan inverse tan pi minus 3 theta. Now what is the next step? We will have to check where does pi minus 3 theta lie. Pi minus 3 theta lies in minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2. So now you are in the range of tan inverse and hence you can write this as finally minus of 
pi minus 3 theta, which leads to minus pi plus 3 theta, which is nothing but minus pi plus 3 tan inverse x. Rewrite it and get 3 tan inverse x equal to pi plus tan inverse 3x minus x cube upon 1 minus 3x square. Mind you please, this result is true only when x is greater than 1 by root 3. Now, we have taken condition x greater than 1 by root 3. We have taken condition x between minus 1 by root 3 and plus 1 by root 3. One more condition is remaining and that is now the next one. That show that 3 tan inverse x equal to minus pi plus tan inverse of 3x minus x cube upon 1 minus 3x square. Condition is x less than minus 1 by root 3 as you all were expecting. Now my solution style will be exactly similar to the previous ones. That I will use condition x less than minus 1 by root 3. I will be naming that theta must be named as tan inverse x. That will put condition for theta. Theta lies between minus pi by 2 and minus pi by 6. And then I can take tan on both sides and it leads to x equal to tan theta. Again, I repeat, we do not start with x equal to tan theta. We start with theta equal to tan inverse x and that implies x equal to tan theta. Result is not in the opposite direction. Okay. Now this x equal to tan theta, we have to write in place of that 3x minus x cube upon 1 minus 3x square everywhere. And that leads to the expression 3x minus x cube upon 1 minus 3x square as tan 3 theta. So take tan inverse and that will lead to tan inverse of tan 3 theta like in the previous problems. Now what was the remedy? What was the next step? That we will have to check where does 3 theta lie and 3 theta lies in minus 3 pi by 2 to minus pi by 2. It is not in the range of tan inverse. So obviously it is not 3 theta. We will have to rewrite that expression for tan 3 theta and now I write it as Look at that, what I have written. I have written that as tan pi plus 3 theta and tan n pi plus theta is same as tan theta that we have already done. So tan 3 theta, I am writing as tan pi plus 3 theta, but I can write answer as pi plus 3 theta provided pi plus 3 theta is in the range of tan inverse. And we check where does pi plus 3 theta lie. Pi plus 3 theta lies in the interval minus pi by 2 to pi by 2. So you are well within the range of tan inverse. And hence, I will be writing answer for tan inverse of, yes, 3x minus x cube upon 1 minus 3x square as pi plus 3 theta. What is theta? Tan inverse x. Write that back. And then final, one more step. 3 tan inverse x we have to get. It is nothing but minus pi plus tan inverse of 3x minus x cube upon 1 minus 3 x square. Now this result is only for the condition when x is less than minus 1 by root 3. So actually in all possibilities we have taken x less than minus 1 by root 3, x between minus 1 by root 3 and plus 1 by root 3 and then x greater than 1 by root 3. So all three types we have done for tan inverse. I think we have done questions on sine inverse, we have done question on cos inverse, we have done question on now tan inverse also. Now please keep revising this and then I will be coming in the next session again with something new. Till then stay tuned. Thank you.